Well, hello. Hello, 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 my babies. How are y'all? It's Mama Dukes, and I'm coming to you guys today on this beautiful, beautiful... I think today is Wednesday. I haven't been on here in a couple of days. Um, yes, yeah, so I just wanted to come on here and say hello to my family and um, just chit-chat just a little bit today. Um, whew, Mama Dukes has been going through a lot. Um, I've lost my niece, um, I want to say last week sometime. Yeah, well, first, my sister passed away. You guys know that my sister had passed away um, in church, um, in choir rehearsal. Um, she just dropped to her death. A God rest her soul. Um, but it was natural causes. And, um, and her daughter ended up passing away. Um, within the same month, not the same year, but the same month, and she also, um, she have sleep apnea, am I saying it right? Well, she ended up falling asleep and she never woke back up, okay? So, um, yeah, so Mama Duke's just been going through a lot. You know, we've been losing a lot of our family members, um, yeah, my cousin Kitty passed away. Um, my auntie Ruby passed away. And all this is within this year, okay? Um, my niece Tanya and... Yeah, so we just had, a you know, just a few deaths in the family. So pray for, you know, Mama Dukes and just pray for my strength. You know, you know I mean... Everybody has a date. Let's just say that. Everybody has an appointment that can never be canceled. Okay? Let's just say that. That's what I learned. Everybody have an appointment that can never, ever, ever be canceled. Okay? So, whichever that appointment is and when that appointment is, nobody knows. That's why you have to walk that straight walk. And you have to do right by everybody. Whether you like it or want to or not. It's not up to us. It's in the Bible. You know, um, having hatred in your heart for someone, disliking someone, um, just not getting along with somebody. You got to put all that behind you because all that is really irrelevant. It's irrelevant and um, it, it really won't get you in those gates. You know, I'm not here to judge anyone and I'm not here to... You know, um, <clears throat> I'm just saying what I know. You know, I read my Bible and I know certain things in there that's required to get into those gates. And having hatred in your heart towards someone is one of them. No, 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 no. So, um, I'm not an angel myself, but I know right from wrong. And I also know, um, I also know what gets me into those gates, you know? So, like I said, uh, everybody has their ups and downs. Everybody go through stuff. Everybody, you know, have their opinions of things. Um, yeah, but, you know, life is real. Life is really, really real. Um... When I lost my son, that was an eye-opener for me. It really was. It was an eye-opener that life is really, really real, and life is really, really short. Really, really short. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry Mama Deuce came to you guys on this day with this, but this is just something that I've been having on my heart, and that's something that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, y'all my family, you know? Um, y'all are a part of my family. When y'all hit that subscribe button, when y'all hit that subscribe button, y'all became my family. Whether you wanted to or not, once you hit it, baby, we are related. You understand what I'm saying? So Mama Dukes feel comfortable enough to express and open up to y'all, you know, about anything. I'm always open for 
comments and I'm always open for opinions. I'm always open for, you know, um, you know, whatever you guys want to, you know, add to whatever, you know, I'm just always open. I'm never judgmental. That's not my motive. I don't judge nobody um, because I can't. I'm not in a position to where I can judge you. What gives me the right to judge you? What gives me the right to say where you're going? What gives me the right to say what you don't have, what you do have? Who am I? You know, I'm just another person, you know, with an opinion and with a voice. But it means nothing. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't like to judge nobody. I don't like to, um, I don't like to do none of that, you know. But I just wanted to come on here today and just tell you guys, I appreciate each and every last one of my subscribers. You guys have really been rocking with me for a minute now. Um, and I appreciate you guys. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, my heart was just really, really heavy this morning. And I wanted to actually jump on here and just, you know, vent. I just wanted to vent a little bit. Um, don't judge me. Don't come for me. Um, I just wanted to vent, you know, just open up. Like I said, I lost a couple of family members this year. And, um, it's just, just make me look at life a lot different. You know what I mean? Life is around the corner short. We're here today and half of us won't even see tomorrow. You understand what I'm saying? It's like that short. So you have to cherish every moment, every day, every second, every hour of that day. You just cherish it and you cherish it as if it is your last day because you don't know. You wake up in the morning and, you know, you go about your day, you know, and you go do whatever, whatever you do with that, throughout your day. You are expecting to go back home to, you know, to be in your own house and to lay in your bed for that night. But like I said, some people never make it back. You know what I'm saying? Some people just never make it back home never make it back home and as I got older you know I just used to think about that it's a scary thing you know um because tomorrow is not promised you know when you're a kid you don't think about stuff like that you just enjoy life you just run around you just eat whatever you want to you don't think about no diets you don't think about no high blood pressure you just eating that candy because it tastes good you know, and you a kid and you just having fun, enjoying life, you know. But as you get older, things start to change and you start to realize the rules of life. You got to tighten up. You got to tighten up. You got to tighten up. I don't know if I'm a messenger for somebody. You know what I'm saying? I could be a messenger for somebody. I could be, you know, um, on coming on here this morning to talk to somebody who needs to hear you know what I'm saying this morning. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I woke up this morning with this is this on my heart. God work in mysterious ways, and maybe somebody needed to hear this conversation or this message this morning. But I just want to tell y'all I love y'all, and I thank you for all of your support. I thank you for just rocking with me. I thank you for just you know um, commenting. I thank you for just answering comments that I put down, you know. Um, yeah, I just, I, I'm just very appreciative of you guys. And I also want you guys to pray for my stepdad. <sighs> my stepdad got rushed to the hospital um, yesterday and he kind of went flatline. They was able to bring him back. Then once they brought him back, he ended up passing out. They brought him back again. So they took him up to the ICU to monitor him, to watch over him. You know, just I just need prayers. I need prayers for my family. I need prayers for my friends. I need prayers just, you know, for everybody. You know, this is praying times for everybody every single person that stands on this earth needs prayer 
whether you live in your best life, you got all the money in the world, you got all the cars you want to drive, somewhere in your life you are unhappy. Somewhere in your life you are unhappy. You know, so like I said, I don't know what this message was for this morning, but it was on my heart and it was meant for me to come on here this morning and share this with y'all. Um, yeah, but this is what Mama Duke's been going through. Like I said, I just really, 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 really um, came on here to just tell my family, my friends, because you guys are my family, you know, and my friends that's watching. Just stay in prayer. Stay in prayer. Stay in prayer. Day in, day out, morning, night, all day, all day. Y'all know God is a jealous God and he loves attention. And if he not getting it, he's going to show out. He's definitely going to show out and he's going to show up for you to give him that attention that he deserves. I don't judge nobody. Like I said, I'm pretty sure everybody don't wake up and thank God for another day. I'm pretty sure some people don't wake up and thank God for the breath that you still have in your body. It's a reason why you woke up that morning. It's a very, very good reason why you woke up. It's not your time for one. And God has a plan for you, you know, so... Whatever that plan is, you know, you want to look forward to it. You want to take heed. You know, you just want to walk right, do right, talk right, be right. So you can see what that, what that, um, that job for you, what, what, what was you put here for? Don't you ever wonder that, you know, what we was put here for? Everybody's here for a reason. Whether it's a long term, short term. You know, whatever the reason is, everybody has a reason to be here. You know, so <clears throat> like I said, I didn't mean to come on here to be sorrow this morning. It was just a message that was on my heart that I felt like that I should share with you guys. Like I said, just keep Mama Dukes in prayer. Um, I will be still going out of town um, on the 21st of this month to be out there with my daughter, daughters, my grandbabies who I love and adore and miss so much, my son-in-law, you know, and um, yeah, I just can't wait. I can't wait, you know, just to get out, get away, get a breather. My husband's not going this go around. He will be staying back. So... Mama Dukes would be flying by herself, and I hate flying by myself, but I know the Lord is with me, so I'm not worried. Um, I don't like to fly at night, and I don't like to fly when it's raining. Um, those are my worst fears of flying. Other than that, once I get in there, honey, I put my headphones in, and Mama Dukes sometimes go to sleep, or I just, you know, be looking out the window. Yep. But um, your girl been working out. So I don't know if you could tell your girl been working out, baby. Like I said, 50 wear, huh? Come on, let's talk about it. Yeah, your girl been working out. Um, just trying to stay in shape, stay fitted. You know, I'm not trying to build a, a beach body, but I'm just trying to stay shaped. You know what I'm saying? Fitted. Um, just be in good health. You know what I'm saying? Eating right. That's my goal. Eating right. I don't eat no red meat. I don't eat red meat. I don't eat, um, I try to stay away from the peanuts. I try to stay away from pop, but I've been drinking ginger ale. I have a lemonade today, so no pop. Um, just trying to slow down, cut back on a lot of stuff, you know, health wise. Um, I feel good. I really do. I feel good to be 50. And um, even though your girl don't look it, baby, but I feel good. I really do. And I thank God for 50 years here on earth. Whew. That's a lot of years to be stomping these grounds, baby. Okay. So, but I'm just appreciative. I'm just so happy that I'm able to have, you know, um, a message. Yes. 
Get your lives together, guys. Get your lives together. Get your lives together because our God is on his way. We don't know the exact time and date that he's coming, but you can actually feel that he is coming because just a lot of stuff is happening. And it's happening back to back to back to back. You know what I'm saying? From these babies getting killed from these mothers coming up missing, from these mothers' bodies being in these abandoned houses. You know what I'm saying? The weather changing. Like I said, floods, mudslides. All that is in the Bible. If you just read your Bible, you will understand a lot more of what's happening in your world. You will understand. You wouldn't be like, why is this happening? Or why that's happening over there? Or, why they do this or you know because you would know you would understand you know like i said i'm a messenger for somebody this morning i feel it and i thank god for using me okay i thank god for using my mouth my tongue i thank god for just the strength that he gave me this morning to get up to relate this message whatever it meant i have no idea i never question it i just do it you know what I'm saying? I just do it. Yes. But all I can say is stay encouraged, my family. Um, stay prayed up. Pray over your kids. Pray over your grandchildren. Pray over your husbands. Pray over your wives. Pray over everybody, your neighbors. Even though you don't like your neighbors, it's in the Bible. Honor thou neighbor. You have to honor that neighbor, baby. You have to honor it whether you like them or not. High and by and keep it going. You don't have to conversate. High and by, keep it going. You understand what I'm saying? But those is not my rules. Those are God's rules and he made them, you know? So, like I said, I didn't mean to come on here to vent. I was just sent here for a message. You know, I was sent here for a message. And like I said, stay encouraged. Stay encouraged. And um, keep following Mama Dukes. If I said anything that may have offended anyone, I do apologize. If I said anything that discouraged anybody, I do apologize. Um, you know, it, like I said, it was just something that was meant for me to say. It was a message, you know. Um, life is short. That's all I can say. Life is really, really short. And these are praying times and getting ourselves and our lives together with the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Mama Dukes love you guys and I always will love you. And um, hopefully I'll come back on here later on with a mukbang or something. I don't know. I was thinking about Taco Bell pizza today. So keep your notification bells on so you guys will know when Mama Dukes dropped that video. Because I'm about to be smashing, baby, on some um, Mexican pizzas. Yes, I am. I'm about to be smashing. All right, Lord. <clears throat> I guess this is it. And I thank you for, you know what I'm saying, sending your message through me. Um, I just hope that it touched someone. And, you know, yeah. All right, guys. Mama Dukes love you. And uh, until next time. I love you guys. And remember, always pray for your family. Always pray for each other. Yes, yes, yes. We are all family in God's eyes. And we know this. Until next time, Mama Dukes love you guys. And I'll talk to you later. Mwah. Bye.